Belugas, the canary of the seas. They are easily caught in shallow waters and its coloration have made it popular at aquariums and marine parks around the world. The capture process is extremely violent. They die because of stress during these drive hunts, and the ones that survive are transported just like this. And sometimes they break their pectoral fins because they put them up in these tarps with no room for their fins. Survival and reproductive success can depend on social cohesion and organization, and the effects of social disruption caused by this capture procedure may go beyond the dynamics of individual removals and impede population recovery. The loss of key individuals will lead to the loss of important social knowledge and will cause disruption or breakdown of social groups and networks. This is how they force them to eat dead fish. basically begging for food. The ocean is incredibly complex, it's always moving, it's always changing, and we put them in a concrete container to entertain us. This is what the marine parks or aquariums will tell you when you buy a ticket. To provide an engaging, educational, and inspirational experience by connecting our guests in an interactive manner to some of the most fascinating resident marine animals. The program is an exploration into the behind the scenes and an in-depth look into conservation efforts with beluga whales. Do you think this is a way of connecting with these creatures? Do you think this is educational? Do you find this inspirational? Do you really think this is conservation efforts? Do you think swimming in circles is okay? I leave you with this quote. There's about as much educational benefit studying cetaceans in captivity as there would be studying mankind by only observing prisoners held in solitary. Jack Eve Cousteau